What is up everybody white lighting HBD here with another video and we're gonna start this video off with some pretty freaking exciting news uh, If you look at my cup count, I am all the way up to 4571 guys. We're almost to 4600 and but here's the exciting shit right here If you look in the local leaderboards for the top players local US and you scroll 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 all the way down uh, you will see that I am shit. I am ranked 188th in the United States of America, guys. We did it. We have hit top 200 in the U.S. Uh, that was my goal for this video, and we did it. We are way up here, and I did get a whale raid, which I will show you. Only one start though. Uh, it, it dicked me, but if you look at my attacks, I've won 323 attacks this season, uh, and I've actually gotten three defensive wins, one of which I got last night, and I will show that this video as well. So, guys, we have made it to uh, top 200 US. Now, top 200 global starts at 3,800, and I don't think we'll make it that far because that is a lot of trophies, but we will try. I'm like 2,000th. Uh, I'm, I'm in the top 3,000 uh, for global, but we did make top 200 US, which is awesome, and we got it. As you can see, here's the defensive win. I'll show that after this one. We got it on this raid right here. 42% one star for 17 trophies. It was a 50, like a 55 trophy off or something like that. So let's go check it out and uh, see why I failed so bad. All right, this is the damn base. I literally can never to. Sometimes I'll even lose to it. Sometimes I can't even beat the goddamn base. I get the one star every single time I'm attacking. Uh, it, it's pretty easy to get to the town hall and take the town hall out, but the 50%, I just I can't do it. I fucking suck. But we got uh, all four goblins going in with two lines of wall breakers, getting them into that uh, first compartment with all the wizards falling up behind. And then I will be dropping the uh, Pekka's King Queen Clan Castle. Uh, pretty soon here too. Land Castle has been engaged so the Lava Hound is out and that's what you want to happen. You want the Lava Hound to be engaged early into the raid so that it's not stuck uh, screwing up your raid in the middle of the base. So jump spell in with a rage spell will be going down as well to accelerate all my troops in the middle. Lava Hound is dead which is awesome but I still need the King and Queen uh, to go towards the middle of the base. So poison spell down on all these skelly traps getting those out of the way and we'll be throwing a free spell down pretty soon here as well I think. Uh, gotta use a King special ability because he was getting shit on. Uh, so the free spells down on that Inferno and both Teslas that will hold those off for a little while long enough at least for our wizards to get in and almost take out that town hall Watch how close this gets wizards gonna be shooting at that town hall It's gonna get really really close almost down one more shot from a wizard in the town hall would be down Luckily though uh, my queen still had her special ability So she popped that and then I got the town hall down to one shot I got really really lucky there if she would have swung right and not gone towards that town hall uh, This raid would have probably been over or I would have spanned the rest of my wizards towards that town hall and Maybe luckily got it uh, but I'm not sure, but luckily the queen did get that, and I'm only at 40%, still 10 more percent to go, and I have six wizards and, or five wizards and six archers, uh, and it's seriously not looking like I'm going to get uh, even close to this. So I think what I did here, I knew that I wasn't going to get the 50, because 10% with the troops that I have is, like, impossible. Uh, so I was just kind of debating where I could go to get the most loot, pretty much, and I decided to go from the top here. So I'll throw the jump spell down. Uh, and then use my wizards and archers. The archers basically just to distract. Unfortunately, that mortar said, fuck your dreams, and blew up all of my archers. So my wizards will get a couple hits off on these buildings. Give me to, like, 42%. Uh, get like one shot off on that elixir two shots and then the raid will end there at 42% Unfortunately, but I still will get 17 trophies So this next raid is a very very important one So make sure to stay until the end of it at least and this base as you guys probably know uh, From our last pushing video I did three star this one as a max base and as you can see this one also does not have any heroes uh, and I, I forgot if the clan castle was full or not, but unlucky for me, this one golem went left after that. Uh, I didn't even see that air sweeper upgrading on the side, so that pulled my golem way the hell over to the left. This raid definitely did not go as well uh, as the last one did, and the wizards on the right side of the base were not really able to clear out much of those defenses. But if that golem stayed on the left side uh, like it was supposed to and took out at least that archer tower, I would have had all four golems go into the middle of the base, and uh, I would have swept this base. This raid would have been awesome, but unfortunately, I got shit on by that uh, upgrading air sweeper. Goddamn air sweepers. And then I got the jump spell going in, so all of our troops going towards the middle. I got the other jump spell down going towards the core, but unfortunately, since I didn't break that chain of defenses on the left, my, all of my golems will swing that way. But lucky for me, my king, queen, and pekkas will go towards the middle of the base, so I will throw a free spell down on that single target inferno, poison spell down on the traps, and a rage spell down in the middle of the base. We got everything, all of our spells down at like one time. And uh, the king will go in towards the middle. I will use a special ability to get that single target inferno out of the way. And he will grab that. And now it's really all up to the queen here. She luckily locks onto the town hall. Uh, and she will be picking that up and getting me the one star there. Uh, I got to use her special ability because she is getting shit on by those defenses. But she did get the town hall. There is the one star, guys. We are at 40%. Still have like three golems on the left side distracting. Uh, and I still have six archers and five wizards. I usually save... 
uh, probably all of my six archers and maybe like two to five wizards every raid, like to the end of the raid. Uh, I know that I could use I could use definitely more wizards when I'm attacking, uh, and it probably would help. But I usually save them to the end because I, with my low-level heroes, I don't really get to that 50% too easily. Sometimes, like sometimes I really really need to save these troops until the end, uh, which I do. So they will easily be able to pick up that 50% while those golems. Uh, distract all the troops or all the defenses on the left side of the base and that will be getting us the 50 on this 21 trophy offer Which is awesome, uh, but yeah, this was a pretty special raid. So wait until I return home uh, After this but yeah guys gonna let my troops basically just clean up get as much percentage as I can I usually try to use my entire army before I end battle because like I pre-train my army So by the time I get back uh, everything's already cooking and good So all the army is down gonna end battle there getting a total of 14 trophies uh, and a decent amount of loot, 55% on this base, this base that I just recently three-starred as a max base. So obviously this one did not go as well, and that shows you like, you know, how fucked up your raid can get from one bad golem placement. So uh, that was a pretty awesome raid, and if you go back to base and check it out, we have broke 4,600 cups, BAM, BITCH! And that means that we have actually set the second highest YouTuber trophy record uh, up right above Nick. I'm eight trophies above Nick. Uh, and right below Galadon's 4664. So guys, we are second place trophy-wise for the big YouTubers. And also guys, I just got my six hour boot. We are getting kicked offline, but luckily for us, if you look in our shield compartment, we have a two day shield roaring and ready to be bought for a 10 day cooldown actually, but that's not that bad. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy a shield and save our trophies for two days. That means for two days, I get to actually sleep. I've been getting like, oh god, like no sleep per night because I mean, I go out with my friends and then I get home at like 12 or 1, then I raid to like 4, and then I wake up at like 7, 8, 9, 10, and I gotta raid more. It's been hectic, so I'm gonna buy this two day shield. I'll be able to actually sleep in and uh, make, you know, energetic. Like right now, I'm tired as fuck, but I'm making a video and I sound energetic because, I mean, that's just how I do this shit, bro. So we're gonna buy this shield, two day shield. There it is, guys. Oh god, I can sleep now, yes. Awesome, we got our shield up, that means that our trophies are going to be saved at 4600 plus so that the next time we get on we can definitely get uh, more cups and basically secure our spot at 4600 because if I were to go offline right now, as you can see by my defensive log, uh, other than this one, this one I just got really, really lucky. I was actually a 36 offer to this guy and he lost. Uh, but I, I, look at this, one star for minus 18. If I go offline now, uh, even though these offers or these losses don't seem too bad, I will lose a lot of trophies and I'll dip way below 4600. So, uh, we're pretty lucky we got that shield. And also, as you can see, we have quite a bit of gold to spend. Uh, and all of our walls are all screwed up. We'll go to this base so we can upgrade gold. And okay, there we go. Uh, there's our loot, guys. Oh, God, up in the middle. It's all nice and shiny. So what we can do with this... Time out! We have 69,000 Dark looks again. Does not relate to anything. We are not using Dark looks at all in this video, but it needs to be pointed out. But what we will be doing this video is upgrading some more walls. We can upgrade two walls with gold. So let's do it, guys. There's one, and there is two, and then we can do one wall with elixir. Whoa, that looks weird. Look, look how like the rainbow goes onto the wall and makes the wall look all purple. That looks kind of cool. Oh, God. So we can do one wall with elixir. We'll let that one go down, and there we go, guys. There's all of the loot. And uh, we got our trophies, we spent our loot, guys. This video has been an amazing success. Great success. And with this all done, said, I'm satisfied with this video, guys. I don't know about you, but uh, it's time for the common question of the day. So today's common question of the day comes from Alex Pazdernik. I apologize if I murdered your name there. And the question is, if anyone wanted to push the champs with Town Hall 8, what would your advice for them be? Watch my Town Hall 8 to Champion series. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, my Town Hall to Champion series will be a really, really good one for people with a lower Town Hall to watch uh, so that they can, like, know how to get up high in trophies to Champions because I will be trying to go to Champions on my Town Hall 8. Uh, obviously, you're not going to want to pay attention to the defensive portion uh, because that is by far the shittiest base you will ever see in your life. And I'm okay with that, but uh, attacking-wise, I would say Mass Dragons, uh, Town Hall Snipe your way up. Uh, do whatever you can to get trophies. Do not fall for the Town Hall trap Town Halls. Like the, It looks like it's on the outside, but really it's like a million defenses are covered. Do not fall for those ones. Uh, go for the easier wins. Uh, attack the Town Hall 8s, the 7s, the 9s, the ones you can get 2 and 3 stars on with your Dragons. Uh, and then just Town Hall Snipe the rest of the way off the Town Hall 10s. Or if you find an easy-ass Town Hall 10 and you can 2 or 3 start with Dragons, use that too. But I would have to say for any Town Hall 8s uh, aspiring to get to Champions League, to Town Hall Snipe, use Mass Drags, use Go Wipe. There's a lot of ways you can uh, use, basically a lot of strategies you can use to get up to Champions. My brother is a Town Hall 9 and he's in Champions League. And my buddy in uh, Daddy's Darling, actually I'm back in Daddy's Darlings by the way. I'm back, so uh, thank you to everybody in the Lost who let me hang out. Love you guys, but I'm back in Daddy's Darlings. Uh, my buddy Timmy 2 Chains is a Town Hall 9, uh, and he is up in Titans League. I'll probably be making a video on him pretty soon here. Uh, but yeah, guys, I mean, if you want to go to Champions to Town Hall 8, Town Hall 7, even Town Hall 9, uh, just look for the easy one-stars, the Town Hall Snipes, and then use 
Uh, heavier army compositions, like for Town Hall 9, you can use Go Wipe or Lunian or Lava Lunian. For Town Hall 8, you can use Mass Drags or Go Wipe. Town Hall 7, you can use Mass Drags. Use those heavier armies to get the 2 and 3 stars, and then just use your King, Queen, or whatever to get that 1 star. So honestly, it's not that hard. Uh, and you, if you want to see a live example of a really, really shitty base doing it, getting the Champions League at Town Hall 8, uh, make sure to tune in for my uh, Town Hall 8 to Champion series with my little newbie Black Thunder HW account. So yeah, guys, that was today's video and today's comment question of the day. If you enjoyed them both, make sure to leave a like and throw your comment questions of the day down in the comments. Also, go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that good shit should be in the description of the video. And that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you all. Peace. The pretty girls in class still They never reply But never say never They never get caught on my mind I'm trying to get better and grind Measure my effort and skill Gets better in time Fresher than ever And I am who I am No taking it back I'm alive and well